the pools were very, very important because while we were doing the things we needed to do, the harsh things, cutting budgets, uh, um, changing work rules that would affect people, some of the difficult things, I wanted to do some uplifting things, not just for downtown, but the neighborhoods. And the pools had been virtually closed. I think uh, about half of them ran, were open for about four or five weeks this summer before I became mayor. And a lot of them were closed for the entire summer. We didn't have any money in the budget to fix it. So I knew I had to raise the money. And I had this idea, which worked like a charm. I called Dave Montgomery and Bill Giles, who were friends of mine. Dave Montgomery was in my wedding. And I said, would you guys get behind this? Can you get me a player to be the face of the Pull for the Pools program? And they found Terry Mulholland, uh, who was our best pitcher at the time, and Terry agreed to give $1,000 to the Pull for the Pool program for every game he won that year, um, and the Phillies agreed to match it. Well, we needed to raise 300000 Terry actually had a good year, 114, so between him and the Phillies, we raised twenty-eight. But Terry and David would come to meetings with other corporate executives, and bingo, within a few weeks, we raised $325,000. It allowed us to keep every pool in the city open for the entire summer. It allowed us to bring about six or seven pools that were closed the summer before, refurbish them, bring them back to life. And so I knew that was great, but I wanted to have something that would be memorable to let people know that things were changing. So I embarrassed myself, I was in terrible shape back then, by jumping in the pool in a bathing suit with all these kids. And it, was, it was great fun and it was a great visual. And, and again, it, it sort of set the tone.